This is the most affordable smartphone on my Android 10 out of the box. So without further ado, let's go ahead and box the Humidity G A3X. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm really excited for today's unboxing video because matagal ko na talaga tong in order. I think December pa yata nung in order ko to. But for some reason, marami yata silang backlog order for the Humidity GF2. And kaya ngayon ko lang nakuha yung unique na to. So without any further talking, let's go ahead and unbox this phone. And before I do that, yung variant na meron tayo right now is the... 3GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage and yung color na meron tayo is the Midnight Green. So let's get our cutter and start unboxing this phone. So right away guys, bubungan sa inyo ang thank you letter from Humidity and also the Humidity A3X and nakakabit na pala yung Free jelly case niya, guys. And what's good thing about this phone, meron na rin siyang kasama na pre-installed screen protector. So let's set this aside first and see kung ano bang meron sa loob ng ating Humidity G A3X. So sa, sa may maliit na envelope, guys, you will actually see the SIM pin ejector and also the user guide manual. So sa pinakaloob ng unit natin, we have the wall charger and the micro USB cable. So set aside na natin yung box and the accessories and let's start removing the plastic and also remove natin din yung um, free case or free jelly case sa ating Humidity G A3X para makita natin yung color na midnight green sa ating smartphone. So, so far guys, sobrang ganda ng color ng Midnight Green para sa ating Humidity G A3X. And I didn't expect na ganito siya ka-premium hawakan. And also yung belt niya, sobrang hindi mo akalain na less than 4,000 lang yung unit na to. And yes guys, you heard it right. I bought this one for less than 4,000 only sa AliExpress, including the shipping na rin. And so far, I'm really happy and satisfied when it comes to the build and design ng ating Humidity G A3X. And before we start setting up the phone, itur ko lang kayo kung ano ba meron sa ating Humidity G A3X. So sa right part ng ating phone, we have the power button, the volume rocker. Sa left part naman guys, we have the SIM tray. On the upper part of the phone, wala tayong any IR blaster or secondary microphone. And sa lower part ng ating phone, we have the speaker grill, the USB micro, oh, the micro USB port, microphone, and the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So let's go ahead and start setting up the Humidity G A3X. So, set up naman natin yung fingerprint scanner natin sa ating Humidity G A3X. So, so far guys, I'm done setting up the phone and sobrang ganda right away ng screen ng ating Humidity G A3X. And again guys, I didn't expect na ganito siya kaganda since binili lang natin siya na less than... 4,000 pesos but right now and so far the way I see it guys sobrang happy ako and satisfied when it comes to the display before natin itry ang ating fingerprint scanner para sa ating Humidity G A3X 
As you can see guys, sobrang ganda ng color niya and I'm liking the design. Very premium looking niya guys considering sa price ng phone na ito. Kaso nga lang, medyo may pagka fingerprint magnet siya. I think glass yata yung ginamit sa likod. I'm not 100% sure though kung glass nga ba talagang ginamit sa ating likod ng Umidi G83X. But so far, kapag hawak mo siya at yung itsura niya, very premium siya at hindi siya mukhang 4,000 or less than 4,000 pesos na smartphone. So enough with that and check naman natin ang ating fingerprint scanner kung responsive ba ang ating fingerprint scanner sa Unidig A3X. So, so far guys, hindi siya ganun ka-responsive compare sa mga na-unbox ko sa aking channel. But hey, less than 4,000 pesos, hindi na ako magkakomplain. Sobrang ganda na itsura niya so far. And I'm liking the quality ng display. Sobrang ganda niya guys as you can see. Very crisp at sobrang linaw ng mga icons and the text. So, so far, I'm very impressed and really satisfied sa ating Umidi G A3X. Pag-usapan naman natin yung build and design ng ating Umidi G A3X. So, by far for me guys, this is the most elegant looking and very premium yung feels ko sa kanya. Knowing that the price of this phone is under 4,000 pesos. And na-mention ko na rin on my previous vlog, I think sa Nova 5T na unboxing or quick unboxing review na lately talaga medyo nauhook ako sa color green na smartphone and look at this guys sobrang ganda ng color niya not the normal green na makikita natin sa isang smartphone but for me parang similar siya with the midnight green na iPhone 11 Na in unbox ko rin sa akin channel guys. You can actually check on that and see my unboxing and review for the iPhone 11 Pro, the Midnight Green. And also guys, yung harap at likod niya guys is gawa sa glass. Although it's not stated na Corning Gorilla Glass siya. But at least under 4,000 pesos guys, gawa na yung front and back niya sa isang glass. So okay na okay talaga siya guys. And sobrang ganda ng color niya. Very elegant siya. Hindi mo akakalain na 4,000 pesos or less than 4,000 pesos lang ang phone na ito. This is the only reason why binili ko ang phone na ito. Because this phone runs with the latest stock Android 10 guys. Yes, you heard it right guys. Sobrang latest na yung operating system na gamit sa kanya. And also for the hardware, this phone is powered by a MediaTek MT6761 with GPU of IMG GE8300 and your only variant na available right now with Umidig is the 3GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage and you don't have to worry about the internal memory guys because expandable naman siya up to 256GB via micro SD. So, so far guys, when it comes to the operating system, okay na okay siya for me because sobrang minimalist lang yung itsura niya and wala siyang mga pre-installed apps na kasama sa phone na ito which nor most of the time talaga hindi naman talaga natin kailangan yung majority na naka pre-installed na apps sa ating phone. And also, sulit na sulit siya kung hindi naman talaga kayo heavy gamer at kung multimedia lang naman yung kailangan sa phone neto, may pangilan-ngilan na, na games, then magiging sulit talaga ang phone na ito para sa inyo guys. And also, this phone has a 3,300 milliamp hour of battery. So, it lasted me at least the whole day na may battery pa rin siya or na may laman pa rin yung battery natin. So, okay na okay siya for me, for me guys knowing that yung price ng phone nito is less than 4,000 pesos. And right now guys, I have Mobile Legends with me and check natin kung magkakaroon ba tayo ng smooth performance at kung okay rin ba ang Umidi G A3X sa paglalaro ng Mobile Legends.
So as you can see guys, available na rin yung high frame rate mode sa ating Humidity G A3X. So i-hide din natin yung graphics niya. Boom. Sobrang ganda niya guys. So enough with playing the Mobile Legends. So so far, I'm really impressed right now. Hindi ko akala na magiging available yung high frame rate mode sa ating Imidi G A3X. So when it comes to the Mobile Legends, guys, hindi lang pang multimedia or social media consumption ng ating Imidi G X or Imidi G. A3X but also you can actually use this for gaming na rin talaga and if you're gonna ask me kung umiinit ba ang phone ng ating Humidity G A3X yes guys umiinit siya right now I can actually feel the heat sa upper part ng ating phone but I think magsasubside na rin siya in a while hindi naman siya ganun rin naman talaga kainit so, so far, balikan ko kayo guys later on kung magiging okay din ba yung um, battery performance when it comes to the gaming school. Sobra bang umiinit siya or nagsasubside din naman talaga ang init niya after a while. But overall, I'm really impressed and I highly recommend this phone kung nagtitipid talaga kayo and wala kayong enough budget to buy a mid-range phone or any other phone na work. Uh, more than 5,000 or 4,000 pesos this then this is something na pwede kong may recommend talaga sa inyo at para sa display quality ng ating Humidity G A3X we have a 5.7 inch HD plus IPS LCD display with 720p resolution and 19 by 9 aspect ratio and so far guys if you're gonna ask me sobrang sulit na sulit talaga ang gagasto sa mong pera sa phone nito as you can see sobrang ganda pa rin talaga ng quality ng display niya very vibrant pa rin naman ang colors at very punchy so, so far for me, sobrang sulit talaga considering sa price ng phone nito. Sulit na sulit talaga ang less than 4,000 pesos mo para sa ating Humidity G A3X. At para sa camera performance ng ating Humidity G A3X, we have a dual camera setup for this phone with the LED flash. So, for the first camera, we have a 16 megapixel with f2.0 aperture camera and the second one is a 5 megapixel for depth sensor and for the front or selfie camera natin guys we have a 13 megapixel ai camera para sa ating a3x and for video recording yung front and back natin can actually shoot up to 1080p resolution at 30 frames per second so overall guys hindi din naman talaga magpapatalo ang Humidity G A3X when it comes to the camera performance as long as well lighted yung surroundings and yung background mo magiging okay yung quality ng mga photos so I'll be showing you some sample photos guys para you can actually decide whether or not maganda ba talaga ang camera performance para sa ating Humidity G A3X
So overall guys, if you're looking for a phone na pwedeng pang mobile legends, pang multimedia consumption or social media consumption, then the Umidi G83X is something na pwede kong may recommend sa inyo guys. Sobrang highly recommendable ko itong phone na ito sa inyo since hindi talaga kayo talo when it comes to the performance and also guys, this one has the latest stock Android 10. So sulit na sulit talaga ang gagastos sa inyo pera para sa Umidg A3X. So kung nagustuhan niyo ang unboxing and review ko for the Umidg A3X, please don't forget to like this video guys, share it to your Facebook account and your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys and tap the bell icon para ma-notify kayo sa mga future unboxing video ko. So once again, this is Wax from Wax Attack channel. Have a great day guys. Bye guys.